the overall winner of the Sustainable Flight Challenge is the planet. I think in the end the winner was the customer. All the employees in the airlines are winners. Society at large is a winner. I think we have all read the headlines. We all see what's happening around us, that the planet is warming, and warming at a rate far greater than I think many of us uh, anticipated. We have to act now before it is too late. My name is Kristen Colville. I am the CEO of SkyTeam. Good morning. Good morning, how are you? Sustainability is key. It's about the future of our children, our planet. And we are at risk. We see climate change scarce of natural resources. Sustainability should be high on the agenda. I'm Jan Pieter Welkenende and I'm chairman of the jury of the Sustainable Flight Challenge. The aviation industry is not just about connecting the world, it's also about caring for the world. We have to, along with every other industry, do as much as possible to reduce our carbon footprint. People want to fly. It's about freedom, the freedom to move around the world but do it in a sustainable way. Think about the climate. Think about your responsibility. The Sustainable Flight Challenge is about taking action now. I got a call late one evening from Peter Elbers with a, hey, Kristen, I've had an idea. The idea itself came from a group of employees within KLM called Bold Moves, who looked at the great aviation races of 1934 that created tremendous innovation and evolution in our industry. The idea back then was to demonstrate we could fly far. This group of people in, in our company said, you know what, today we should demonstrate that we can fly sustainable. They took the idea of these races and thought, well, okay, let's do this today around sustainability. And the heartiest congratulations on your wonderful flight from England to Australia and to Melbourne. We conducted the qualifying flights in the first two weeks of May. 22 flights, 16 airlines, thousands and thousands of employees involved. We weren't the experts. So we looked for a global diverse panel that could help us assess the entries for each of the categories. And we are thrilled with the jury that we are working with. And I think what I love the most is how you've managed to make something that usually people find quite boring, right? Trying to find sustainable solutions uh, quite fun and exciting. And I think uh, this is just the genesis of uh, something bigger, being part of the initiative whereby you have everyone in the chain getting involved. When I received the invitation, I said, yes, because I like aviation, of course I like to fly. I'm also involved in the world of sustainability every day. And when you have such a jury with this challenge, I think this is really great. It's just a tremendous honor to be part of this jury. The panel is made up of very experienced and diverse set of people um, who bring about different kinds of expertise to this question of sustainable aviation. The diversity in the jury was so important. When, when you have different perspectives looking at the different uh, airlines' accomplishments and actually determining what the finance and the winner, I think you get just to a much better outcome. Zuevia and Peter, as former Prime Minister of, uh, of the Netherlands, to participate into this event. Uh, what it shows is there is really support uh, from uh, the political establishment for the wider industry. I think at the end of the day, if you can effectively deploy a lot of the solutions that we've seen in this challenge, it does make a difference. And as far as climate change goes, any difference is good difference. I think there is tremendous robustness in the outcome. I think with robustness come legitimacy. And I think in, a, in an event like that, uh, clearly you want to make sure that we really thought through who is competing, what they've achieved, and is it truly an improvement. Currently, we are working to reduce our carbon footprint, and we'd like to invite you to join us.
We harnessed the power of some friendly competition to create the most sustainable flight we possibly could. Competition says something about getting the best out of yourself. Competitions work when you can celebrate success and by far the most lasting impact is engagement of employees. But also the community of all the airlines together learning from each other. And I think that's the only way to solve the problem. If we all contribute together, if we all learn from each other, and we can actually make sure that we get there to a more sustainable world much, much faster. The results from this challenge have been incredible. It has blown us away beyond expectations. Almost a thousand innovations and solutions. But all of those together, all of those small steps we've all taken are going to represent a giant leap. And I must say the macro picture was impressive. So you can talk about, let's say, the individual uh, suggestions, the innovations. But you also can talk about what is the macro picture of it. And if you add everything, it was impressive. This flight will be one of our most sustainably designed flights. Let me mention three things that keeps me busy. The first is everything that has to do with the reduction of the use of energy. This is really key. And you must have a reliable story. And we've seen innovations that really can lead to making the difference. So that's the energy issue, that's one. The second uh, point I would like to mention is plastics and uh, the reuse of plastics. A uh, Dutchman called Boyan Slot, he's very concerned about plastic in the oceans. And also in, my, in the Netherlands, people know how important it is to talk about plastic and we've seen some beautiful examples. And the third one, of course, has to do with food. You have to talk about what is the best way to feed ourselves in a better way than in the past. And first, throughout that concept of uh, from farm to fork, so we decide to grow our first greenhouse and to plant lettuce and herbs directly to our menu for our, our guests. Some of the innovations that we saw truly moving the needle uh, were around eco-piloting, which enabled pilots to take the route that enabled them to get to their destination as quickly as possible with the minimum amount of emissions. What it does is that we fly at a speed that is uh, most cost effective. It means that the aircraft engines will be working less and the wings will be working more. There were clearly very important and, and structural levers that have been used. Uh, very efficient planes, making sure that they fly on the, on the right route, making sure they use this aviation fuel when it makes sense, but also the, the amount of incremental improvement that can be layered on top of each other was in the end incredible. And when you look at the sum of all these incremental improvements, which are now 15% reduction in CO2 uh, per, per kilometer flown, I think it's, it's, it's unbelievable. If you talk about reduction 15% within one year, that's what we talk about. It is really great. And think what might happen worldwide if other companies would take up the same solutions. And what if we can generate new ideas next year? This gives me hope for the future. One of the most significant, I would even call it a shift, in the Sustainable Flight Challenge has been the employee engagement. It has been overwhelming. The Sustainable Flight Challenge. Today's our big day for the Sustainable Flight Challenge. Out of the JB Alliance's Sustainable Flight Challenge. We're ready to go towards a sustainable future. <laughs> it's a groundswell. It just keeps growing and growing. We've seen this challenge permeate every group within the airline organizations. I've heard from some of our airline CEOs how sustainability has been transformed within their airlines as a consequence of this challenge. I think what the Super Flight Challenge has managed to do is to mobilize flight attendants, uh, ground operators, pilots, people defining the value proposition for the customer, the loyalty program. And if you manage really to get energy across the organization channeled in a positive way to drive sustainability, I, I think that that will actually be the recipe for success. It's always a matter of implementation throughout your whole organization. In fact, all layers of the organization must have the willingness to change. 
I think at the end of the day, actually, a lot of the improvements in society comes from people that are just applying uh, creativity and techno te technical knowledge to something they know well. I am so excited to see where we go next with the Sustainable Flight Challenge. There are more and more ideas out there. This has been a fantastic experience, but the question is how to proceed. What about the next steps? And I'm looking forward to new ideas, new innovations, new inventions. We really need that. How do you start to scale the solution that have been tried? How you make sure that you adopt many of the levers that have proven to be successful in this challenge and how you push the envelope next year to actually go even further. And sometimes you get a question, are you optimistic? But optimistic is not the right wording. It's more about being hopeful. I think this is really key. It's about hope for the future. This is not the end of the Sustainable Flight Challenge. This is just the beginning.